Hello, and welcome to this SRC Learning Essentials series video about Extranet VPRN. If you are not familiar with the Service Routing Certification Program, you can learn more by visiting our website at www.networks.nokia.com src. In this video, we will first explain Extranet VPRN and its purpose. We will discuss BGP extended communities and how they are used with export and import policies in Extranet VPRN. In our lab, we will configure and verify Extranet VPRN on Nokia 7750 service routers. So, what is Extranet VPRN? Extranet VPRN is a topology that allows route sharing between multiple VPRNs. This topology fulfills the requirements of companies collaborating on projects or sharing files that are of common interest. This is achieved by allowing each VPRN to share some or all of its routes to other VPRNs. Here is a typical example of an extranet VPRN. The head offices of the two separate companies, in this case CE1 and CE3, wish to share routes in order to access resources, while the branch offices CE2 and CE4 are kept separate from each other. The extranet topology limits network access in the following manner. Permit access between CE1 and CE2, two sites in the same blue VPN. Permit access between CE3 and CE4, two sites in the same red VPRN. And permit access between CE1 and CE3, the two headquarter sites of the blue and red VPNs. Extranet VPRN services are implemented by managing route targets or RTs and properly configuring virtual route forwarding or VRF import and export policies. Each customer VPN uses one RT to identify its routes. An additional RT is then used to identify routes to be shared. In this example, RT 65100,1 identifies the blue VPN routes and RT 65100,2 identifies the red VPN routes. Routes shared between the two VPNs are identified by RT 65100,3. In Extranet VPRN, community lists are defined to either match or set route target values as required. On each of the headquarters sites, PE1 and PE3, three communities are required. On PE1, blue only identifies blue VPN routes. Extranet only identifies Extranet routes, and Extranet VPN blue identifies routes as both blue VPN and Extranet routes. Similarly, on PE3, red only identifies red VPN routes, Extranet only identifies Extranet routes, and Extranet VPN Red identifies routes as both Red VPN and Extranet routes. Finally, on the branch sites, PE2 and PE4, only one community is required to identify routes as VPN only routes. On the headquarter sites, an export policy is used to mark routes as both VPN and Extranet routes. So in our example, the export policy on PE1 marks the routes as blue and extranet, and the export policy on PE3 marks the routes as red and extranet. On the branch sites, the export policy marks routes only as VPN routes. Import policies are used to control routes accepted into a VRF. On the headquarter sites, an import policy is used to accept two types of routes, VPN routes and extranet routes. So in our example, the import policy on PE1 accepts blue routes and extranet routes, and the import policy on PE3 accepts red routes and extranet routes. On the branch sites, the import policy accepts only the VPN routes. Next, we will move to our lab environment to complete this extranet case study. Similar to the example in the presentation, the blue VPN is configured on PE1 and PE2, while the red VPN is configured on PE3 and PE4. 
we will configure Extranet VPRN so that the head offices CE1 and CE3 share routes while keeping the branch offices CE2 and CE4 separate from each other. Once completed, we will verify the configuration by viewing the blue and red VRFs. Okay, so let's first configure the communities on the headquarters sites. As mentioned earlier, we need three communities per site. So here on PE1, configure router policy options, begin, and community blue only, members, and that is target 65100, colon 1. A second community called Extranet only with members target 65100 colon 3. And a third community called Extranet. VPN Blue with two members, one six five one zero zero colon one, and the second six five one zero zero colon three. Commit. We can then verify the new communities by running show router policy, community. Over to PE3, and to save time, I have already pre-configured the required communities. Configure router policy options and info. And here on PE3, we have three communities again. One called red only with target 65100 colon 2 one called extranet only with the members 65100 colon 3 and one called extranet vpn red with the two members 65100 colon 2 and 65100 colon 3 next let's configure the required import and export policies on the headquarters sites so back over to pe1 and here we need an import policy that accepts the blue only or the extranet only communities. So begin policy statement, and we'll call this blue headquarters import. Entry 10 from protocol BGP VPN. from community blue only action accept back back and a second entry entry 20 from protocol BGP VPN again but this time from community extranet only action accept back 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 and we also need an export policy to set the route targets on extranet routes propagated in the MP BGP updates so PE1 will set route targets 65100 colon 1 and 65100 colon 3, which is the community Extranet VPN Blue on local routes originated at the Blue customer site. So policy statement. And we'll call this Blue Headquarter Export. Entry 10, 
action accept community add extranet VPN blue back 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 commit over to PE3 where I have pre-configured the policies First, we see the red headquarter export policy that adds the community Extranet VPN Red or RT's 65100:2 and 65100:3 to the routes. There is also the import policy called Red Headquarter Import that accepts routes with the Red Only community or the extranet only community. All right, now we must assign the import and export policies using the VRF import and VRF export commands. Then we'll start back over on PE1. Configure service VPRN 1. No VRF target. VRF import Blue headquarter import, VRF export, blue headquarter export. And on PE3, VPRN2, which is the red VPRN, VRF target, VRF import red headquarter import and VRF export red headquarter export. Finally, because our requirement states that the intranet only sites CE2 and CE4 must remain separate from each other, we can use a simple VRF target command on PE2 and PE4 to import and export the routes. On PE2, configure service VPRN1 info. And notice we are using a simple VRF target command with target colon 65100 colon 1, which is the route target of the blue VPN. And on PE4, VPRN2, again the VRF target command, but with target colon 65100 colon 2, which is the route target of the red VPRN. The extra net configuration is now complete, so let's verify the routes. On PE1, we can run show router 1 route table to view the blue VRF. Notice that it includes both blue VPN routes as well as the one extranet route. Using show router BGP routes VPN IPv4 192.168.3.1 slash 24, which is the ExtraNet route, RD 65100 colon 2 detail, we can see that communities were used to set two route targets, the red VPN RT and the ExtraNet RT. So therefore, this route is then accepted into the blue VRF because it matches entry 20 of the VRF's import policy on PE1. Let's view the blue VRF on PE2. Show router 1 route table. And as expected, we only see the blue VPN routes and do not include any routes from the red VPN. Finally, let's view the red VRF. So on PE3, show router 2 route table. 
The red VRF now sees both red VPN routes as well as one extra net route. MPE4 only sees the red VPN routes. And that does it for this video on Extranet VPRN. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Content for this video was adapted from the Nokia SRC Virtual Private Routed Networks course. You can access the complete course via any of the three learning formats shown in this page, as well as get remote private access to a service router lab to complete the course lab exercises. If you are interested in obtaining an SRC certification, this table identifies the recommended courses and required exams for each of the five available certifications in the program.